Hello, I'm Dan Alford. Welcome to the Arc Specialties Weld of the Week. Over the next couple of weeks, we're going to be talking about TIG welding aluminum. I see a lot of stuff on the internet where everybody's focused on that perfect stack of dimes weld appearance. Well, sometimes beauty is only skin deep. So we're going to talk about the process, get you some good arc on video. And we're also going to talk about defects and how to detect them. You don't need expensive x-rays. We're going to show you some ways that you can check your weld quality cheaply and quickly in your own shop. So before you even start welding aluminum with a TIG welder, you need to prepare the electrodes. You start off with a blunt electrode and then you use electrode positive. That's DC reverse polarity. DC reverse polarity puts 70% of the heat into the electrode. It causes a ball to form on the electrode. This is not for welding. This is simply for electrode prep. So once you've prepared the electrode, you're ready to weld. You switch the welding machine from reverse polarity to AC. We're running AC because we're using cathodic cleaning to remove the oxides ahead of the weld. You can actually see that cleaning action ahead of each of the weld beads on the video here. So today we're doing a fillet weld on 6061 T6 base material. We're using a 4043 wire. Now 4043 is a little bit easier to work with than the 5356, the other common joining alloy. It has a lower melting point and it tends to wet and flow better. The tensile strength's a little bit less. The reason I'm doing fillets today is these are surprisingly difficult to get good fusion at the root. And that's going to be one of the tests that we'll get into in subsequent Weld of the Week episodes. So this week was an overview of TIG welding aluminum. You saw some arc on video, you saw some welds being made, and they look pretty good on the surface. Next week we're going to show you how to inspect these welds without spending a lot of money. We're going to break some welds, we're going to cut some welds, and we're going to check some welds. I look forward to seeing you next week on Weld of the Week. We look forward to posting new episodes of the Arc Specialties Weld of the Week. If you're one of the thousands of operators of Arc Specialties equipment around the world and you have a weld that you would like to showcase, please contact us. At Arc Specialties, we thrive on problems. Send us yours.